Hello, my name is Tom Green from Saratsville High School. Today we'll be talking about the spread veer offense, the advantages of running the inside and outside veer. Uh, I've been running a spread veer offense for seven years at Saratsville High School. Uh, it's done great things for us. We have, uh, we're at a, in a situation where our linemen are undersized. It gives us a chance to play with some of the better teams in the league and the better teams around the state. We, uh, this past season, we went to the playoffs for the first time in school history. 57 years uh, with a 10 and 2 mark. We rushed for 3,600 yards. Uh, total offense, 5,000 yards of total offense, both the school records. Uh, what we'll be doing is talking about the advantages of running the inside and outside veer and the multiple formations you can run to put the defense in a position where they can't defend your offense. We'll talk about our scheme versus a 30, a 40, and a 50 front defense and how you can make easy adjustments versus the blitz. Running this offense, we averaged 37 points a game, up from 22 points a game in previous years. This offense is easy to run. We have a very easy audible system, very easy check system. Any team can run it, and it's very useful at the high school and college level. The biggest advantage of the spread veer offense is that you don't block everyone on the football field. The biggest advantage is that you have always have it's a triple option attack where you have a handoff key and a pitch key out of every play that you run, inside veer or outside veer. Most teams put their best athletes at the end and that outside linebacker, and it allows you to read them opposed to you blocking everyone on the field. With your quarterback, if he makes good decisions, if he makes good decisions, you'll always be in the right play. And if he makes the right audible and the right check. Now we're going to look at the 3-3 stack. A lot of teams are going to this defense. It's very important that your kids remember your rules are the same when you're going against the 3-3 stack. Now here you'll see the rules are the same. So the play side tackle, the guards uncovered, the play side tackle, his rule, linebacker head up to inside. He would still release outside to the backer. Now versus the 3-3 stack, the guards rule is base. Now versus the 3-3 stack, we tell them you always have the inside backer when we're dealing with the stack backers. The inside backer when you're dealing with the stack backers. The center's rule still the same. We're stepping play side. We're scooping on the backside. Nothing really changes with that. If the tackle crosses your face, you'll pick him up. Now the rule's still the same here on our count, but what we do is we count one, two, we still get the free safety and the rules are the same here. Now because of the 3-3 stack, because of the stack, a lot of times you get guys blitzing and running around. What happens when you start getting this blitz here, what you do is you just make an inside call, then you get your tackle releasing inside, and you cut him off inside and you still have a good play. You can run the inside via your base play versus the 3-3 stack and be as productive as you were versus the 50 or the 40 stack. And that's the base inside veer versus the 3-3 stack defense. Okay, here, now we're going to talk about the line rules versus a 40 front defense. Um, versus the ins inside veer versus the 40 front, the play side tackles rule, if we're coming here to the right, his rule is linebacker head up to inside. The play side guards rule is base.